double lift even said it in his interview you know this has been the most the the most stressful life since you know you know very public his mother passing but i think that has something to play a part in it and and to watch it play out i think was just fantastic weekend content <laughs> I think the, I mean, double, double lift, um, I mean, double lift made a lot of comments, right? Like even in his stream yesterday, um, commenting stuff and like, obviously the, the series should be really stressful because they're, they're down zero two and they're not going to make worlds and what a disaster that would be. And then it, with the way the community is being right now too, pretty much overall, like losing feels worse i feel now than it did in previous years um just the the way that social media is being the way reddit's being the way that like uh, what, what do you a mean lot of things that? are pop hasn't it always been terrible no uh no, i don't think it's been like this it's kind it, it 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 seems more normalized or like people seem more desensitized to uh harshness or like just the roster swaps and juggles and people are constantly calling for people's heads and whatnot. I think it's really weird. I mean, we saw it with the, the FBI thing, right? When, so imagine if TSM doesn't win, what ends up happening on Twitter uh, or elsewhere? Like, I just imagine it would be tenfold. Um, and I think that's pretty insane. Um, so I feel like it's a, it's a lot bigger now. And I mean, so uh, aside from the social media aspect of things, the other thing that is very weird about the series from like other stuff Doublelift has said is the, the comments that he made like on the draft, um, the TSM legends, like behind the scenes, like some of the conversations that you see they're having. And I remember I tweeted out that when you watch TSM play, it looks like they're just a, so a super solo queue squad that try to win off their own individual prowess. And that's sort of been like their motto for the last four or five years. There's there's no fucking cohesion there. It's just like, I don't know, man. It's yeah. not good. I mean, for, for me, I think it's like very obvious why the community has become like this, which is like the fact that NA has consistently disappointed combined with the fact that everyone knows that the players are overpaid. Like, if these players are getting paid two to three times what European players are being pay paid and Europe is doing it somehow without imports, um, like we're, we're like taking theoretically the best players away from all these other regions like players that like oh, look at how many players we have in our in our region that are like world champions or like people like Sven who was like one of the best players in in Europe when we got him uh people like Broxa who you know went to world finals two years ago like we just get like the top talent everywhere and for some reason we still play at a lower level than all fed up with it like they see the the amount of resources that are going into these teams and then the end product is just not something that uh, people are satisfied with. Um, and I, I can feel that too. Like, I feel like it should be better than it is. And I think the community at this point feels like NA should be better than they are as well. Like the mistakes that they're making are like super obvious, you know? Um, and it just feels bad if you actually care about North America because like you don't know what it's, what's happening. And at the end of the day, it just feels like the effort isn't put, being put in. So um at least that's my perspective on it is that people are just t like sick and tired of seeing all these players get overpaid, go to worlds, get completely shit stomped and then just like take a 3 month vacation, none of them fucking play solo queue and then they come in and they're like, "Yeah, you know, spring split doesn't matter anyway." It's like, "What the fuck?" Like, dude, we're trying like we need to catch up. We need to be putting in more effort now than the other regions if we're going to go anywhere. And it seems like it's just like we're still putting in less effort. Europe, Korea, China, Japan, they just they take things differently across so many fucking titles and it's such a consistent trend and there's no changing that like at its core so what can end up happening is you can you can have like the upper echelon of the region which is it should be the pro teams right able to take things more serious but then even still like what dom's saying off season comes after worlds no one fucking plays solo queue oh, it's off season they're there no one uh no one reaches out to each other everyone hides information everyone's fucking playing arams with their girlfriends I don't, I don't fucking know the amount of uh north american pro players that i see um either actively like looking for new things or like showing up uh like in other streamers like chats like pro players and whatnot and like either asking questions or just socializing compared to eu is yeah. fucking night and day it is just night and day yeah. Europeans, even if they don't like you, 
are like they don't if, if you're doing something they'll either try it they might reach out or they'll have someone else reach out that is just such a fucking common thing and eu masters especially man like the up and coming eu talent was the same goddamn way in starcraft i'm pretty sure it was the same way in warcraft um i'm not sure about like other titles i know uh hearthstone eu is way more open with each other and like connecting and like every you it, 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 it's it's uh I just wanted to say the C word, but <laughs> that's not apt. Um, it's bad, cool. man. It's bad. And watching the TSM series, I remember I went silent for like five minutes because like if TSM loses, they just don't get it, man. And they're not going to get it because yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I remember like a, a couple years back, I kind of like I, I explained or like I, I tweeted out that it's like the amount of people that play other games here is actually like it's ridiculous like you you should see how much some like people actually have played valorant um or like at the time it was fortnite um warcraft, into, warcraft. yeah warcraft. like wow like it's just the amount of of other games that we play compared to like other regions is just really concerning and i just i when i see something like this like obviously i'm sure that there it, people do say that you need like some type of like relaxation right and i, and I, I agree with that there needs to be some ability to relax but but i don't know if playing like an other competitive video game for like four or five hours a night is what it is like i don't know if that's actually gonna get us to the next level like in eu it's like one guy it's like you're like oh like you know wonder plays a, a shitload of wow and the guy plays so consistently well that you can't even like you're like all right man like I, I can't even say anything this guy is just smurfing constantly in a competitive region maybe he's just that good um but also what I believe it is is that he actually just plays more than you know he lets on. You know, like he actually just plays the game more than um, he lets people know because of secret yeah, stars and that things like that. So yep. I, I don't know. I think the the problem is is pretty evident. Like we just don't care enough as a region. Like there are players that care and give it up their all. I think Bjergsen's one of those players. You know, that's why like when I talk shit about like TSM, I kind of exclude Bjergsen from right. from the shit talk because this guy is is constantly trying to improve you know he plays a fuck ton of league he's doing everything in his power to be the Harrison, best player yes. He can be. yes but he's not american yep <laughs> exactly <laughs> but but like that that's okay for me i don't care if he's not american as long as he's no like, i know that but that i i'm trying to 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 assert that there's probably a cultural thing there that ties into it yeah sure you know and I that I think that's part of the problem. Also, we always we always host face check on Mondays, right? Or or Tuesdays KST, right? Yeah, yeah, Tuesday. Yeah, yeah I gotta, yeah, I gotta, I gotta set my calendar for 2021 so we can have this combo a year from now again. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, gotta, I, I gotta, well, I'm just gonna make sure, you know. Like, like, <laughs> all right, okay, 2021. <laughs> Oh no, what kind of Jesus power hours are we going to have again <laughs> same, next week? Same time and place, guys. Same time and place. <laughs> All right, sounds good.